your boy Ningun in the house back with another bang on video. But ladies and gentlemen, bigger news for you guys. Yes, we finally got an update about when the Premier League will end. Well, at least half the clubs in the Premier League will push for the season to finish on July 1st, even if it does not leave enough time to play all the remaining matches in what could be a pivotal shareholders meeting on Friday. There is confidence among some executives that the 14 club majority required to push through such a proposal. It looks like it, it would be achieved if it went through a vote. But the proposal is found to be the only formula to finish the league, uh, the season by June 30th, as they know voiding the campaign is off the table now. And this would allow Liverpool to be crowned champions. And still, still, uh, we would come to know who will go to the Champions League and who will fight for relegation and get out of this uh, season, uh, this league actually. And uh, Roman League have joined forces. And at least nine clubs have had serious discussions among themselves and will come together to present their case on Friday. Premier League faces, a, faces an ultimatum from a group of clubs demanding a decision is made on ending the season early. Also, Arsenal players are offering to take three months' deferrals, which would then be paid back over the next 12 months to spread the financial burden, but the club are still pushing hard to impose cuts. It is believed that some players are sympathetic to the plight and were ready to accept that pay cut, which would be reimbursed if Arsenal qualify for the Champions League to help the club, but it is a collective decision, so the overall vote went against. Let's see how things will pan out to be. Well, uh, here's what David Dewey has spoken about uh, Mikel Arteta. He says, We have been given assignments just like in school and at, and at university. I spent an hour and a, and a half on a video call with Arteta analyzing games and training sessions with from this season. Also, he went on saying that uh, uh, Arteta would say, tell me about this game without watching it, David. Uh, afterwards, we, we would watch and see we were trying to do something good, but couldn't execute it, or we thought it was bad, but in this case, good. Unbelievable. Arsenal and, Inter and uh, AC Milan are keen on signing 23-year-old Guinean Olympiacos defensive midfielder Maddie Kamara. His valuation is somewhere around 25 million pounds. I'm sorry, 25 million euros. Both the clubs have already made inquiries and are ready to test the waters with a bait. Also, David Lewis went on saying that I always had a dream of working with Guardiola. I couldn't work with him, but I'm having the opportunity to I'm having the opportunity to work with a person who grew up, learned, and was victorious with him, who has the same ideas. So in a way, I'm making a dream come true. Jamie Carragher rates. Arsenal legend Thierry Henry as the Premier League's best ever player. Thank you so much for understanding that. Well, Lille sensation Victor Osimhen, now being linked with Manchester United, said he rejected Barcelona, Juventus and Arsenal in 2017 as he wanted regular football straight away. His 21 years of age Nigerian striker instead joined Wolfsburg and now uh, is actually doing wonders in France. Unbelievable, isn't it? He said, I had a lot of options, Barcelona, Inter Milan, Atletico Madrid, Juventus and the rest. Arsenal was a good option, but it wasn't the best at the time. I wanted to start playing as soon as I turned 18. I wanted to go to a place where I had uh, time to invest in my game and improve physically. Wolfsburg showed me that possibility. Arsenal have joined bitter rivals Tottenham Hotspur in the race to sign Feyenoord prospect Lamar Bugard. The 16-year-old is a regular in the LAWC side's under-17 team. Let's see if it's definitely going to be a part of Arsenal. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. Sit back and relax and enjoy. And uh, you know, uh, uh, you can always uh, you know subscribe and uh, share all these uh, links of these videos with your friends who are Arsenal fans. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.